they got a lot of people talking, just not for the right reasons. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most controversial anime characters. For this list, we're going to be looking at the characters who caused widespread uproar from fans and the general public alike. As always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10, Brock and Jr., Kanikuman. <laughs> Like his dear old dad before him, Brock in here is a Nazi. Just straight up. Even has the swastika on his costume to prove it. <laughs> that would make for tricky enough tightrope as is, but then there's the fact that Junior happens to be one of the good guys. That's right, he went full Stroheim, complete with all the propaganda you could want on his outfit as he enters the ring. At least Ultimate Muscle had the forethought to shift his design a little. We know it was the 80s, but come on. <laughs> Number 9, Master Roshi, Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> The old Hermit has a laundry list of perverted deeds across his tenure as one of Dragon Ball's most recognizable faces, and by this point, fans have just learned to live with the fact that Roshi will likely be a pivot until the day he dies. <laughs> But it was his antics in Super that really landed him in legal trouble, since Japan's Broadcasting Ethics and Program Improvement Organization were gunning his head following on from yet another edgy venture. Yes, it's still creepy what he tried with Bulma back in the day, but come on, it's Master Roshi! <laughs> Number 8, Sagiri Izumi, Eromanga Sensei. <laughs> she nearly got all of anime banned in Australia. What more do we need to say? Given the Outback's rather uneasy history with mediums like video games, it stands to reason that a non anime enthusiast might look at Sagiri, a substantially young girl who has a career in drawing hardcore erotica and has a physical attraction to her brother, and be a tad perplexed. <laughs> One Australian senator was so outraged at the fan service and incestuous hints that he tried to get all of anime banned. Mate, you're going about it the wrong way. You have to embrace the trash, not reject it. <laughs> Number 7, Marie, Persona 4, The Golden Animation. The original Persona 4 video game was perfection, and the anime was a pretty decent adaptation in itself. But when they decided to adapt the expanded The Golden version of the game, they took a few too many liberties. Marie was, for the most part, an inoffensive addition to the game, having very limited interactions with the main cast. But the anime decided to go full poochy with her. <laughs> Marie, much to the chagrin of fans, became one of the main focal points of the anime, being shoehorned into almost every scene and even taking shining moments from the other cast members. It would have been fine, but she was just such a bland character that everyone wanted to abandon their social link with this series. <laughs> Number 6, Einzel Gon, Overlord. <laughs> Just goes to show that not everyone loves a bad boy, especially if they go out of their way to trick and systematically massacre a group of adventurers who happen to find their way into his back garden. 
While fans had no problem with Bone Daddy Ainz wiping out enemy soldiers, monsters, and other less personable victims, there was a major outcry following the defeat of Foresight, a group that many had grown close to, only to watch them be killed off or sent away to meet unspeakable fates. Guess there's no doubt about which side Ainz is playing for now. <laughs> <laughs> Number 5. Mine. The Rising of the Shield Hero. <laughs> You've got to have pulled some shady stuff for an entire fan base to be cheering at the prospect of you getting your head chopped off come the end of the series. Very few have ever succeeded in inspiring so much vitriol as this princess, who through her deceptions and manipulations nearly led her kingdom to ruin. So desperate to sit her greedy ass on the throne, Mine showed no remorse for framing Naofumi for attempted assault, turning the kingdom against him, conspiring with a crazy church, and trying to assassinate her sister on frequent occasions. Getting her name changed to Bitch was about as lucky an end for her as she could have hoped. <laughs> Number 4. Hiro Shishigami Inuyashiki Jump even among anime's most notorious mass murderers, Shishigami stands out as a special kind of scumbag. Why? Because not only did he use his newly created cyborg body to kill, but did so out of boredom and curiosity. There's something truly demented about walking into a house at random, shooting down the mother, going upstairs to shoot the father, whose dead body also happens to drown his son in the bath, and then force the traumatized daughter to talk about One Piece. That's some next level stuff that makes your soul feel unclean. <laughs> Number 3, Mr. Popo, Dragon Ball Z. Ah, oh, there you are. Well, I see you found the food. To us, this resident assistant at the lookout is a kind, caring individual who has aided Goku across the years. For everyone else, they see a portly floating man with an appearance very reminiscent of blackface. There seems to be a change coming over him, Mr. Popo. He's not acting like the villain I would expect. Yes, many people were not prepared for this. These similarities are certainly there, and while there were desperate attempts to cover it up, aka Blue Popo, there was no way something like this was not going to catch fire from those that weren't already inducted into Toriyama's world. <laughs> My, even Goku wasn't that powerful when he was a boy. Number 2, Griffith. Berserk. In my own way, I do care about my men. I'm not like that kid I used to be. It takes me back to when we met. There's a reason why the White Hawk's betrayal still lives on in infamy to this day. An act of such callous sacrifice, paired with his effortless step towards the dark side, that it would mark him as one of anime's greatest villains, one who we will likely keep on hating until Miura actually finishes the damn manga. Because of the nature of this task, you are the only person I can trust. You have a choice. Choosing his dream over his comrades, Griffith took the god hand up on the offer and attained a rebirth of cosmic proportions, the only prize being the lives of his allies who were swiftly mauled to death by demons. Given how he went on to defile Casca moments after his transformation, we'd say he has no regrets about his decision, and yet people still say Griffith did nothing wrong. You're wrong. Griffith. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Endeavor – My Hero Academia He's the world's next number one hero, tasked with standing tall as the symbol of peace. He's also got a terrible history of abusing his wife and children. As you can imagine, suddenly being thrust into such an inspirational role, yeah, that's a bit of a bridge to cross. <laughs> While he's certainly taken the first steps towards trying to heal his relationship with Todoroki, it's gonna take a lot more for fans to completely forgive him for his heinous past deeds. Even if that battle against High End was hype. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.